patterns in our surroundings and shapes. Chutki, are you back after playing? Yes, mummy. I'm back. Are the new tiles fixed in the bathroom? Yes. Go and have a look at it yourself. Mummy, what is this? The tiles are not stuck in order in the bathroom. They are not uniform. Chutki, the tiles are stuck properly. Look, a pattern is made in the tiles by sticking them in this manner. Oh yes, here in the first row, the tiles are laid in an uniform manner. And in the second row, the tiles are placed in between two tiles above it. And this pattern is repeated again and again. Okay, so this is a pattern, isn't it? Yes, Shutki. Would you like to know more about the patterns? Yes, Mummy. I want to know more about the patterns. So friends, today we will learn to identify the patterns in the objects in our surroundings and how to build them further. Look Chitki, here a pattern is created in my sari using big and small flowers. Yes, the big and small flowers are repeated in your sari. Now look at this, a pattern of one black square and then one white square followed by a black square is repeated in a chess board. Oh yes, you are right. Chitki, come on, now let's go to the kitchen. Okay, let's go. Now look, a pattern is made using triangles on this pot of water. Oh yes. Look carefully. Here in this pot, a triangle is made with a flower in it. This is followed by an upside down triangle that again has a flower in it. Yes, and this pattern is repeated again and again. Yes, Chitki, look, there are patterns on so many objects in our surroundings. Yes, Mummy. I will find some more patterns. Now, can you help me complete my school homework? Yes, Chitki. Come on, I will help you complete your homework. Look, Mummy, I have to do this homework. Oh, this homework is about patterns which we learned just now. You can do it very easily. Yes, Mummy. Here there are only circles in the first given pattern. I can't identify any pattern here. Look carefully. The circles are filled with colors and these colors are repeated in a particular order. First circle is filled with green color. The second circle is filled with yellow color. And the third circle is filled with green color. Yes. The yellow and green colors are repeated in the next circles. You are right. Now, if you fill the next circles with yellow and green color and repeat it, the pattern will be complete. Yes, this pattern is very easy. Come on, now look at the second pattern. This pattern is made of two shapes. Yes. You identified it right. There are triangles and circles in this pattern. Now look carefully. There is a small circle shape inside the triangle and after that there is a small triangle shape inside the circle in this pattern. This pattern is repeated again and again. Now tell me, which shapes would come at the empty places? So now, a small triangle inside a circle would come here in the empty place. Well done. Come on, now try building this pattern. A shape with a small circle inside a triangle would come next. What will come after that? 
a shape with a small triangle inside a circle would follow this absolutely right well done come on now you identify the patterns in the objects in our surroundings okay mummy yes so friends today in this video we learn how to identify patterns which occur in the objects and shapes and also how to build them further in the next video we will learn to identify the patterns in the objects and shapes in our surroundings and how to build them further with some examples and we will also get to know about some common mistakes patterns in our surroundings and shapes examples friends in the previous video we learned to identify the patterns in objects and shapes and how to build them further today we will learn to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes and we will see some interesting examples related to building them further mummy can i help you in doing the work no chutki i have done all the chores come on let us both play an interesting game of making patterns and building them further yes we will have fun look i will make a pattern with the help of these matchsticks you have to identify that pattern and build it further okay one standing matchstick one sleeping matchstick near it then again two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks now you proceed with this pattern next it will be two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks again not like that chitki look at this pattern a little more carefully first there is one standing matchstick and then one sleeping matchstick in this pattern next there are two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks it means here the number of matchsticks is increasing by one each time oh yes first one one matchstick and then two two matchsticks yes So how many matchsticks do you have to put next in this pattern? 3 3 matchsticks after 2 2 matchsticks. It means we will put 3 standing matchsticks and 3 sleeping matchsticks. Oh wow. Well done. Now how will you move ahead with this pattern? We will move ahead by placing 4 4 matchsticks which means 4 standing matchsticks and 4 sleeping matchsticks. Well done Chitki you completed this pattern in a perfect manner Come on now let's look at the next pattern See now I will make pattern with these candles you have to complete it Okay four big candles four small candles near them then again three big candles and three small candles Yes then again we will place two big candles and after that two small candles Yes you are absolutely right Now proceed with this pattern and complete it It is easy We have to place three big candles and three small candles after two candles No chutki look carefully each time the number of candles is decreased by 1 initially we had 4 4 candles after that 3 3 candles and then 2 2 candles mm. so this pattern will be complete if we place one big candle and one small candle beside it yes well done chitki mummy i'm having so much fun ask me one more questions on the patterns come on 
Now look carefully at this pattern and tell me, which colors do you have to fill in the unfill arrows? We have to fill green color in two standing arrows and red color in one sleeping unfill arrow. Chitki, there are blue, red, green. These three colors are filled in this pattern. Now look carefully at the standing arrows in this pattern. Of these arrows, the downward arrows are filled with green color. And upward arrows are filled with blue color. And the sleeping arrows are filled with red color. Now tell me, which colors do we have to fill the following arrows with? Mm, of these arrows, first arrow is going downward, so we will have to fill it with green color. And we will fill the arrow going upwards with blue color. Absolutely right, Chutki. Next. Now we will fill the sleeping arrow with red color. Then the downward arrow is filled with green color and upward arrow with blue color. Wow! Well done, Chutki. Thank you, Mummy. Friends, so today we learn to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes. We also saw some interesting examples related to building the pattern further. In the next video, we will get to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the patterns made from shapes. Patterns in our surroundings and shapes. Common mistakes. Friends, in this video, we will see some common mistakes that we make while identifying the pattern made from the shapes. Chitki, come on, let's see some more patterns today. You will have to identify them and build them further. Okay, mummy. You have to identify this pattern and build it further. Oh, the triangle will be the next in this pattern. Come on, Chitki. You have to look carefully at the pattern and understand it no matter how many shapes or colors are used. Look, the square, rectangle and triangle. These three shapes are repeated in one order in this pattern. Yes, first shape is square, second is rectangle and third is triangle. If we repeat these shapes in this order, then after triangle, square, after square, rectangle and after rectangle, it is triangle. See, this pattern is complete. Well done, Chitki. Now you continue to study and I will do my work. Okay, mummy. So friends, in this video, we got to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the pattern made with shapes. Okay.